Guys, I got the Greenworks Pro 80 volt and I got the Greenworks Pro 60 volt, 25 inch dual blade thing back there. Uh, both of those mowers are mine. I bought them with my own money. The 80 volt I've owned for two years. The 60 volt I've owned for five months. I want to show you a raw power comparison between those two. I've gotten a lot of comments over the past 24, 25 months uh, asking me my thoughts about the difference between them. And I think this is the only video I'm going to make on this subject. So let's go down to the front hill yard, the front hill of my, of my property for the purpose of this experiment. All right, for this experiment, I'm literally only comparing two different high-end Greenworks Pro models. In many videos past, I have told uh, viewers of this channel that I think the Greenworks 80, wor uh, 80 volt battery powered mower is pretty much the strongest one out there. So if you're regularly cutting tall overgrown grass, maybe wet grass, maybe weedy grass, and you're not cutting that grass like every three or four days, maybe it's going every like two weeks or so, the Greenworks 80 volt has always been my go-to. Down here on the hillside, down here on my front hillside, I don't really consider this my lawn, but this is an area that I have to tend to from time to time. Our septic system is here and every bit of foliage, whether it be grass or weeds, grows like crazy over this area. We have a lot of thistle in this area. So if I don't cut it down every couple weeks or so, it will eventually grow to be man size, like tall enough to just cover me up. When I cut this spot, I always opt for my Greenworks 80 volt mower. However, this year I went and I picked up, purchased with my own cash out of my own pocket, the 80, uh, the 60 volt 25 inch wide deck. I figured it's got a turbo button. Uh, the RPM speed is much higher. And because the deck is wider, I should be able to get through my hillside a little bit faster. The simple fact of the matter is, as I've been using it all spring this year, I am constantly getting bogged down. It's constantly stalling on me as I go through this thick stuff and it doesn't speed the process up at all. Now, possibly over on the rest of my hillside that doesn't have an enormous thick layer of stuff on it to cut down, that works out. But here over my septic, it just bogs down constantly. And I wanna show you the difference just side by side. I'm just gonna run both mowers over the same exact area. And you're gonna be able to see the difference between the 80 volt machine and the 60 volt kind of dual blade machine. Now, some general specs here. Uh, the 80 volts, a 21 inch deck with a 19 and 7 8 inch cutting path compared to a 25 inch and a 24 inch uh, for the, uh, the 60 volt Greenworks. The 60 volt Greenworks has two batteries. The 80 volt only has one battery. Uh, the 60 volt, now I'm putting both of these mowers because so, I'm well overgrown here. Both of these mowers are set to the highest setting. Now the 60 volt Greenworks mower actually goes up to four inches in the cut height, whereas the top setting on the 80 volt machine is only three and three quarters inch. So the difference is about a quarter inch of cutting height. Just glancing at the specs, you're gonna think that the 60 volt machine is gonna work better. It's got a 4,000 blade RPM speed. And when you click the turbo button on, it busts up to 4,500 RPMs. That's in comparison to only 2,800 RPMs for the 80 volt Greenworks. The difference is the blade diameter is wider on the 80 volt Greenworks. So if you calculate the tip speed, I have an entire video about lawnmower blade tip speed, which uh, I really recommend that you watch. I'll link to it in the description below. I think it's fascinating because it's just math, but it really sheds a lot of light on how, how these lawnmowers work. The 4,500 uh, RPM blades tip speed on the 60 volt machine, because the blade is smaller, the tip actually travels uh, less diff distance. And if you calculate it, it ends up coming out to about 164 miles per hour is what the tip is of each of the dual blades is running at. Whereas the 2800 RPM 80 volt green works, that blade tip speed at just base RPM 2800 is running 165 miles per hour because the blade is wider. Now, there's no published data that I know of on the boosted RPM speed of the uh, of the automatic sensor turbo feature on the 80 volt, but chances are very good that that 2800 jumps up into the low 3000s, which means that the tip speed is going even faster. So I believe the tip speed is just going to be way better on the 80 volt than it is on the 60 volt because of math. 
Now, if you're mowing high grass, tall grass, wet grass, weedy grass, lots of times when it gets overgrown, one of the better ways to deal with that is to do a side discharge. Now, the dual blade, the, the 60 volt greenworks here, doesn't have a side discharge. So it goes up higher, so it's gonna be able to go a little bit through these higher stuff, uh, higher lawn spaces a little bit better, but you can't side discharge it if it gets out of hand. And that's something that the uh, traditional 80 volt one does. Of course, both of them will mulch, both of them have uh, bagging capabilities, and they're both very reasonably priced, in my opinion, for, let's call it uh, nearly premium. I don't think of any of the Greenworks line as being truly premium products, uh, but they're pretty good, especially these high-end Greenworks Pro machines. Uh, they're quite light and very easy to manage. They both, uh, all of the batteries charge well, and I haven't had a problem with my 80 volt machine uh, since I bought it, and I've owned that thing for over two years now. Look at that guy, look at this. Razor blade city, man. Uh, it goes for a ways. Uh, again, I put the uh, 80 volt Greenworks uh, up against a few other mowers over the past couple years mostly in the same area a lot of i've gotten a lot of resistance from people who just really think that toro or ego has stronger mowers uh, this is just it's just awesome so this is just another example i haven't even done this yet i mean obviously i haven't cut it side by side so i just believe that the 80 volt is going to push through it just fine and the 60 volt is going to bog down and potentially stall lastly before we get started both of the mowers have fully charged batteries and I've got the high lift blade on here, which is basically almost exactly the same thing as the normal blade. I can't even visu visually tell the difference with my eye. So this will be a fun comparison to just put up there. Uh, I should also say, not that this matters that much, but since you're all watching me, in my opinion, I regret buying the 60 volt um, I don't expect it to work well, but maybe maybe I'll be surprised. Uh, at least I don't expect it to work well in this side-by-side -side comparison. Um, I do regret purchasing it. I should have just stuck with that one. If I mow for about an hour, if you overlap your, uh, your stripes by about two inches, uh, one hour, the, uh, the narrow deck, the 21-inch deck, 80-volt, uh, compared to the 25-inch deck, 60-volt, you're only going to cover about 20% more ground. Um, and again, that's, that's just the math of it. You've got a 19 and 7 eighths inch cutting path versus a 24. Subtract 2 inches for overlap, and it's only about, I don't know, like 18% more ground covered. Uh, I'm going to start off with this one. And just push into the thick stuff and see what happens. I'm going to immediately turn the turbo on before I get going. Put the drive speed there in the middle and go. See that? Go see what uh, 80 volt Greenworks can do. Here, I'm going to stick the drive speed right in the middle. Turn it on. I don't have a turbo option, but it will auto sense that it needs it and will kick it on. Look at that. That probably went, oh, 150, almost 200% as, as far. Let's take a look at the rows. So here, it's, I don't know, I don't know if you can call that clean. But uh, there's some things sticking up over here. I think it's just as clean, if not slightly better. 
before, I mean, it just powered straight through everything here uh, before we started bogging down a little bit once we got over here. So let's take a look at the underside. So this is what did it right here. It's just too much. We haven't had rain in a few days. Uh, if any of you have cut lots, lots of thick green um, grass and weeds, you know that it always comes out wet. But the deck itself doesn't look very like bogged down. It just got too much. It's just too much in there at once. Let's take a look at this one. See what the deck looks like underneath. Look at that. It's similar. The deck itself doesn't look too crazy. Things are draped on there. Mostly it's just all of this. All of this got deposited here in the 80 volt strip, whereas it collected in the 60 volt strip underneath the deck and it couldn't deal with it. Now, in a real life scenario, I wouldn't be trying to mulch this, but this is really just to kind of show you the power. Real life, I would pull the mulch plug off and throw the bag on, so all of this stuff would go into the bag. It's harder to demonstrate raw power though when the bag's there. So this machine is attempting to power through uh, heavy grass loads and, uh, you know, it's all mucking up underneath the deck. And it could only go that far. Whereas the 80 volt could just keep on pushing through for a while. Now had I slowed down for either of these machines and kind of like tip the deck up and let them flush it out a little bit. Each mower could have gone a little bit further. Um, but if you owned these mowers and you were doing this, not making a random YouTube video like I am, you'd throw on uh, the bag uh, to be able to power through this. But that mower is just going to go slower. Yeah, it's wider, but it's just going to take longer for you to go through this because you're constantly going to have to be going slower and uh, dealing with the mower itself physically trying to cut through such an enormous amount of material. All right, half of it's done. I'll do the other half off camera. I think you catch my drift. That thing's a beast. All right guys, for the first time in more than two years, I have finally set up an affiliate relationship with Greenworks. That's not like special, anyone can do it. But I finally did it because I've been using a lot of different mowers, a lot of different brands, and I just really like the Greenworks brand, especially their 80 volt line. I think it's a good marriage, a little pairing between value, quality, and price. I guess value and price are kind of the same thing. I'm going to link to some of their products that I like down in the description below. But you don't need to buy anything if you have what you like already. What I do want you to do, though, is take a look at this video up here in the corner. This video is all about how battery lawnmower specs are deceiving. I did a pretty substantial deep dive into the battery mower strength uh, and specs of a lot of the mowers out there. Take a look at it. It took a lot out of me to put it together. And it doesn't have enough views. So help me out here, guys.